Hi, this video will provide a brief overview of how to run an existing method in TCAN's Magellan software in order to collect and review microplate assay data where a standard curve is utilized. For instructions on how to create a Magellan method, please refer to links in the description below. With your plate reader turned on and the Magellan software started, go to the Start a Measurement selection, click there, and then also click on the green arrow in the bottom right corner. In the select a file window, make sure that you choose use predefined method, find your method from the list, and then pick make your selection. In the start measurement window, you will see the name of the workspace file name that will be generated. You can edit that if you want. You will also see the name of the method being executed, as well as a list of all the different steps and the well positions that this method will measure. If you're satisfied with this, you may press start and continue to collect data. In the measurement status window, you will see the name of the workspace file listed at the very top along with the method that's being executed. In this particular example, the left hand two columns consist of standards. There's also some blanks at the bottom in a positive control, and the rest of the blue wells are all unknowns. Once Magellan has completed measuring the plate and the data is displayed here in this evaluate results screen, you will see the name of your workspace file and the associated method linked to it. In this window, there are two tabs, one which shows you the results and another called edit method, which takes you back to the parameters used to analyze the data. While evaluating the results, you can look at raw data, you can look at the mean values of any well where there was a replicate. In this case, the standards were replicated, so a mean value was listed in the first instance of each replicate. Magellan also automatically creates a standard deviation and a CV for any sample that's been replicated. There's also a useful tool of observing the raw data as a color scale or color heat map, and you can use the toolbar on the far right side there to adjust the minimum and maximum values for this color scale. If you've performed any calculations, like blank reduction, you can view them here in the same manner that you view the raw data. Again, you get standard deviation, CV, and a mean automatically. This is where you would look at the final concentrations. Here's single concentrations. There's also mean concentrations. It determines average single concentrations in addition to a standard deviation and a CV, as well as a curve. In the graph standard curve window, you have several options, including the ability to save the curve for later use in other Magellan methods where you may not actually place standards in the plate and measure them. This way, you can bring up this standard curve file and use it to determine concentrations for your unknowns instead. There's also an option to save or even export this file as a bitmap image so that you can import the image into other reports you may create, such as PowerPoints or Word reports or Excel reports of some kind. Another useful feature is the ability to edit properties of the curve right here in this window and see their effects. For instance, if the fit here was linear, but it should have been something like point to point, we could change that, observe the effect, and then by closing the window, Magellan will reanalyze the data based on this new fit. We would then get different concentrations and different results here because of that. Here are a few more tips when it comes to observing and manipulating your standard curve. If we click here again under Evaluate Results, Graph Standard Curve, you may click and drag to highlight areas or zoom in on them. Double clicking brings you back out. You may click on points to remove them so that they are no longer part of the curve. This would then change the concentrations because these points are no longer part of the curve. If we were to close out now again we would see that the concentrations would change and also the standards that we remove would be removed from the display. In order to get them back you would come here to raw data and observe that here they have parentheses on them and you could select the wells you want to bring back. You right click on them and choose to mask, unmask the selection. Now without the parentheses, 
we could return to the curve and see that those points are back again. If the curve had other properties that generated things such as an R fit value, in that case being something like a linear regression or nonlinear regression fit, we would be able to see that here at the bottom of the screen will be values such as the y-intercept, the slope, and some other parameters including the R fit value. In addition to editing your standard curve from this selection here, like so, there is an option of moving back into the method parameters, choosing standard curve here as well, and stepping through and making changes to these qualities of the standard curve. When you're done, if these are changes you'd like to save and apply in the form of a new method, you may choose File, Method Export, and then create a second instance of your method. In this case, I'll make a number two and save that. Now that method will contain the modified standard curve parameters that can be used at a later time for other measurements. The ability to export multiple types of data to Excel from Magellan is achieved through the data export feature here. This is where you have available data types to export. You drag and drop them from the left to the right and place them here in the order that you want them to be exported. Magellan can be configured to export data in a variety of formats, such as matrix or as in a table format like you see here. We will cover that setup under the method creation video in the link below. There is an alternative way of exporting just individual types of results to Excel quickly by simply highlighting the data type that you want, such as here I'll take blank reduction, and then you drag and select the wells you want to export, and then select Edit, Copy to Excel, and that data will then appear in Excel, but just that data, not multiple data types. Once you're done looking at your data and you're happy with the output, you can select Next. The software will sh again show you the file name that it's going to use to save the workspace. You may edit this here if you'd like, or simply pick Save, and you're finished.